Kodak Black pleads guilty to a case involving guns, drugs, and New York State. Me and the Notification Gang would like to invite everybody to come join us Monday through Thursday, 9.20 to 10 o'clock for Morning Coffee, where we discuss the events of the prior day and also just talk mess about stuff. See you then. BBN Jack Frost. What's up, party people? Alright, so yeah. So apparently Kodak Black has pled guilty once again. Okay, so for everybody that don't remember, um, do y'all remember when Kodak Black, I believe he was on concert or something like that, or he was doing shows or whatever the case might be, and he was up in about Detroit or somewhere something like that and he had to go to Boston and there was a situation where he accidentally crossed over into Canada I'm not sure if he got picked up on the way into Canada or the way back from Canada but he had got picked up and when Border Patrol I'm assuming they call him Border Patrol I'm, I'm assuming anyone that patrols the border is Border Patrol it doesn't have to be the border between <laughs> Mexico and America so I'm, I'm assuming these guys are called Border Patrol also anyway so Border Patrol stopped them and they found weed and a 9mm handgun in the car. Now, I think the biggest issue was, and this is why I believe they got found, they got caught on the way back in from Canada, is he had to go up to Niagara Falls. He had to go up to Niagara, um, New York in order to stay in the trial. That's where they had to ship him to. That's the court he's in. I don't know if he went uh, via um, video or if he had to physically go there, but that's the court he's in, so... It happened in New York, so it had to be when he was coming back from Canada. And New York has, I mean, when they say gun gun laws, New York has like some of the stingiest gun laws or some of the hardest gun laws in this great nation we live in. So, and real quick, so for everybody that's always complaining about saying New York is this and New York is that, we have like the worst gun laws. Like if you get caught with a gun here, like they ready to take anything from you. They want anything, you feel me? Anyway, so... um. Kodak Black got found with a 9mm and some weed in the car with them. It was him and I believe three other individuals. Everybody gets arrested. Um, he pled guilty this Wednesday, March 11th, in an attempted second degree criminal possession of a weapon because he had the 9mm and there also was some weed. Um, the charge ended up taken after he was arrested when he tried to cross the border. As you already know, he was looking at, he's looking at like two to seven years in prison. But the sentence can run concurrently with the weapons charges. First of all, let me give a shout out to Double XL and Tony M. Sorrento. Uh, this is the article I'm actually looking at. Uh, Tony goes on to say that Kodak entered the guilty plea at the courthouse in New York, Niagara County. Uh, the Rhymer. Come on. Come on. Come on. Who calls anybody a Rhymer nowadays? How old are you, Centeno? Is Centeno? Is Centeno like. 80 oh, them, them dang gummit rhymers i don't know anyway so he says <laughs> come on man and he says the rhymer is reportedly set to be sentenced on march 24th that's a couple weeks from now um as previously reported he says that kodak black was arrested when he attempted to cross the northern border from canada into the u.s yeah, it was from canada into the u.s i always thought um they said that the rapper had marijuana and a glock nine millimeter pistol inside of a cadillac escalade he was driving along with three other men since kodak did not declare the gun when he arrived at the u.s canadian border the u.s customs agents arrested all four men them there, um, there was two vehicles occupied by u.s citizens were encountered at the livingston queenston port of entry uh, spokesperson for the customs and border protection there you go it is border something of a, but it is called customs though customs and border protection said in a statement about the incident last year during the initial inspection the u.s citizen admits admitted to being in possession of marijuana and firearms during a secondary inspection it was revealed that the weapon was possessed 
unlawfully in New York State and subsequently the marijuana. Firearms and subjects were turned over to the New York State Police for further processing. Real quick, I want to say something for everybody that don't know. If you possess a gun, unless you have like some kind of special permit, I'm going to guess. There's just some states you cannot bring your weapon to. New York is one of those states. Real quick, for everybody that don't remember, um, currently Tax Stone is locked up. And the charge that Tax Stone is actually currently locked up on is the charge of bringing a weapon from one state to New York. So he got he picked up the weapon in one, a, a different state and ended up bringing the weapon to New York. That's the charge he's actually in jail for. I believe, yeah, he had to cop out to that. That's actually the charge he's in jail for. Bringing a firearm across the border. So, I, I'm and then it was used in a, in a crime, a tragedy. So, I guess that's what the extra years is about. It goes on to say, anyway, the article. Kozak was forced to miss shows in Boston after his arrest. He was arrested on federal firearms charges in Florida in May 2019. And in August 2019, Kodak pleaded guilty to falsifying documents in order to illegally obtain weapons. In November, Kodak was sentenced to 46 months in prison. He is scheduled to be released in October of 2022. Um, uh, Y'all got to go check the article out yourself. I just want to put everybody on, anybody that... Everybody that didn't know, Kodak Black has currently pled guilty to another charge. I forgot that charge existed. Um, to be perfectly honest with you, uh, Kodak Black is fighting a lot of legal troubles. Let's hope no matter what else is going on with the legal side of this, the of his um, life right now, let's hope that he's doing well. Let's hope that his family is doing well. Um, I don't know. What, whatever y'all want to... I want to know what y'all guys think about this, about him pleading out. Just about this gen this whole subject in general, I kind of feel bad for the dude. Um, a lot of people get mad and they say, "Well, he knew better. He knew better. He knew better about whatever his situations might be." But this, but like in this particular situation, anybody can make a wrong turn. He didn't mean to go to Canada. He just made a wrong turn. I used to drive cross uh, country a lot. I used to drive trucks for a living, and sometimes. I mean, it didn't have it. it didn't have it. I mean, but it does happen. You could just, you know, make a wrong turn. So this is just one of those situations. I'm not speaking about any of his other legal problems. I'm talking about this legal problem specifically. This is definitely one of those situations where it's like, oh, come on, man. Y'all can't just. I, I mean, I get it with the um, illegal weapons and also the um, marijuana. I get it. But this is just one of those that I wish they would have just uh, laughed it off and just. You know let the guy go anyway let me know what y'all guys think about it leave it down in the comment section um do you think that kodak black is currently in this particular situation because of karma um or do you think that this was just an accident you just the, you're supposed to turn left you went right that's it i think that's the crux of the matter of this particular case um I'm hoping that whatever they give him, because he, he's pleading guilty, is going to run concurrent. I want to know how much time y'all think they should give him. I think they should just give him whatever the minimum minimum is and just run that shit concurrent. Like, you got enough problems. You got enough stuff going on. No matter what, how much time we give you, it's not going to make a difference in the grand scheme of things. Um, so, yeah, let me know where y'all guys stand on this. And also, one more thing. Who thinks... That YNW Melly, Kodak Black, and Takashi would make a banger. Like, comment, subscribe. Join the notification gang. Hashtag Bronx Bombers. Let's get it. I love y'all. Take care of each other. Hug the kids for me. I haven't forgotten about you. And that's all I got on this one. I'm out. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. If you would like to help dictate the direction that this channel takes, please leave a comment. All comments are appreciated, whether positive or negative. Thank you very much and enjoy your day. And remember, positive thoughts cause for positive things to happen. Let's get it.